Now, um, here's what it really comes down to if you, if, you, if you really get down to the fundamental business rationale behind cloud computing. And here's the analogy I like to draw. If you think about it, you know, there was a time when each business, in order to exist, had to produce its own electricity. There was a time when each, you know, household, I guess, in order to have electricity, had to produce their own. And if, if businesses today consumed electricity the same way they consume software, what you'd have is every business with its own power plant, with its own generator. And this would mean you'd have, to, you'd have to tie up scarce capital in these generators. You'd have to maintain them over their useful life, whatever that was. So you'd have expenses associated with keeping them current and, and make, you know, keeping, them, keeping them in working condition. And then when their useful life was over, you'd have to, you'd have to replace them. And the big downside of that is that it obviously uh, is only available for the very largest of enterprise in anything approaching a reasonable cost or at anything approaching a reasonable cost. You can't get the benefit of any economies of scale as a small to medium sized business if you were to be responsible for managing your or for generating your own power. It would be simply too expensive. Now cloud computing, if you will, sort of shifts that around and it's really about uh, consuming uh, software or information technology more generally um, as, a, as, a, as a utility, much as electricity today is consumed as a utility. You turn it on when you need it, you turn it off when you need it, you consume what you, what you use, and you pay only for what you consume. So it's subscription-based. Uh, you don't have to, in a cloud computing model, you don't, have to, uh, you don't have to involve yourself necessarily with a big implementation uh, times, uh, the setup of, of, of the or getting access to the computing that you need or to the applications that you need is typically available with minimal setup and therefore with far less cost. The second thing about the subscription model is that you only pay for what you use. Um, if, you have, if, you, if you need to add users to a particular application, for example, you pay for them. And if you don't need to, you don't pay for them. So you only, you only use what you need, which means you can use more or use less as your business grows or, or, or doesn't. Um, and, it's there when, and it's there when you need it. Um, the other thing that's very important about cloud computing, and this is especially important for the CFO, is that it keeps capital available for investments that directly generate revenue. Um, there's a lot of capital tied up in hardware equipment and in the maintenance of various forms of technology in businesses today um, that could, uh, many feel, especially in this current economic climate, uh, be better used towards generating revenue. Um, and so. In, in a cloud computing model, you keep capital available for these revenue generating uh, investments by avoiding, um, by avoiding all of the external services and internal, some of, not all of them, but some of them, uh, internal IT staff or software licenses uh, that you do if you consume software on an, in an on-premises or traditional sort of fashion. And at the end of the day, uh, what that means is that uh, you have more capital available, you have lower costs, you have scalability, uh, you use what you, only, what, only what you need. And you also have lower risk in the sense that you don't have to worry so much about technology going out of date because pretty much by definition, if you're consuming software in the cloud, it's always current. You don't have to worry about replacing it. It's being continuously upgraded and updated for you as part of the subscription. That's the fundamental rationale behind cloud computing, whether it's infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, or software as a service. At the end of the day, it's about consuming software or information technology more generally as a utility.